Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a transparent header in Elementor in 2023. Elementor is a powerful page builder for WordPress and of course that allows you to design and customize your website with ease. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to create a transparent header giving your website a sleek and modern look. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's just ensure that you have the Elementor installed and activated on your WordPress website. And of course, you can go to your uh, WordPress dashboard. Make sure to go to plugins. And if you have Elementor there, make sure to go and simply add a new page and uh, use the Elementor. But if you don't have it, go to your plugins, add the Elementor plugin. Make sure then after that to go to pages on this left panel of your WordPress. Add a new page, choose Elementor, and you will find yourself right here. It's going to be pretty simple. And of course, make sure to even get your Elementor Pro because without Elementor Pro, you'll like a lot of features. So as you can see, those are the plans of Elementor Pro. You can simply go and check them all by your own and check even the features of them and go and do whatever you want. So once you are done, of course, here, we simply have to go and add our header uh, to Elementor. And of course, we would like to have a transparent header. So an example here, I'm just going to add like some hidden here. And as you can see, I'm just going to put like tests as an example, and I'm going to put it in the center. So simply once you have your header selected as an example here, you can simply go to style right here. You'll be able even, even here to change the color of it as an example. And other than Carl, of course, you'll be able to find on this style or advanced whatever settings you would like to edit of course including like the headers background color gradient or image and of course you can set the background to be transparent or adjust the opacity opacity sorry uh, to your desired level so example let's just go through this uh, uh, whole thing as example so let me just go and uh, go and edit all the settings of course it's in everything here to see depending on whatever you like of course you can go and go and add it and as you can see here we'll be able to add some some shadow if you want to the right or to the left and of course you can even edit the color of the our shadow the blind mode we can go and uh, do whatever we want with it and of course uh, here in advanced we'll be able to edit some margins if you want to so if you go and add like the margins you may notice like some difference as you can see and the paddings also with the widths also as you can see and if you go here to background which is normally what should we go of course we can go to normal or hover and we'll be able to go and add this transition duration and of course we can even go and add some images example to it so let's just choose this as an example select it and as you can see oh sorry we'll be able to do the image like let's just do this with the image size and so normally your tr transparency will be on just the background so go here and choose if you want it to be classical if you want it to be just a color if you want to An example so depending on whatever you want you'll be able to uh, add it and of course there's even the gradient option so you can go and change whatever you want here so go and edit those settings depending on whatever you want once you're satisfied you will be good to go of course you can always go here and preview the changes and if you uh, like the changes of course you can simply go back and preview or publish the everything and then you will be good to go so other than that of course you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff on Elementor including like here uh, add in like as an example if you want to add some intersection you can simply drag it here into uh, this section as an example so let's just drag it and as you can see you'll be able to edit the layout of it as you can see we can edit the content width the width of the uh, layout of course the columns gap uh, height vertical lines overflow HTML tag and of course even the structure of it if you want to we'll be able even to edit that so of course other than that we'll be able to edit the style of it as an example so we can change uh, the background of it uh, we can uh, give it a uh, like a normal background or a hover background uh, there's the even the background overlay option the border the sh the shape divider and of course the typography also so you can go and also to this advanced and here you will be able to uh, edit the margins the padding depending on whatever you want of course and this z index uh, css id css classes will just simply edit those margins uh, 
for you and of course here there is this motion effect that you can it is also responsive uh, attributes and custom css and of course as you can see those will require pro also so uh, of course you'll be able even to add some hidden as an example you can simply just drag it down in there get your hidden here as an example i'm just going to type test here you can even go and even paste the link if you want like this uh, hidden to be clickable you can even edit the sides the html tag alignment of it so you can do basically whatever you want with it you can even change the style of it including color typography uh, text stroke it's uh, shadow in the blend mode and of course here on the advanced uh, option it will be able to edit the loud of it the motion effect transform background the border mask responsive attributes and the custom css also and of course other than that we have this image so we can simply go and add our image by clicking here on image we'll be able to upload some files from our pc as an example so let me just go here as an example and upload this file and as you can see we'll be able to upload it and we can even change the scale of this uh, file or this image however we want we can even align it to the light rift uh, middle we can even get at some caption a link as an example and we can even go and edit this image of it uh, the image width as an example the max width if you want to the the height and of course we'll be able even to change the object's width uh, the uh, it would like to be normal or hover css filters will be will be able to apply some and of course on this advanced we'll be able to edit all of those stuff i don't have to go through them again and of course we have here the text editor example we'll be able to go and add some text if you want to and edit the content of it the style of it and even here we have the advanced options so the styles normally is going to be the alignment text color typography and text shadow as usual content here we can go and do whatever we want with this as you can see here and that's normally going to be it here of course you'll be able to add some videos as examples so let me just go and drag it here so if you click on this video as you can see you can link a video from youtube if you want to you can link it from vimeo or daily motion or even self-hosted if you're gonna uh, upload it from your pc as an example so as an example let's just go here and see we are going to upload something from youtube so simply you'll have to go and paste the link right here once you do so the video will appear here and you'll be able to play it whenever you want even fix the uh, play speed the quality of it and of course the volume and or anything else that you want to edit so of course if you click on it that will open it even on youtube as an example and you'll be able even to watch it on youtube directly so of course you can even use this navigator from here to go back and edit whatever you want if you want to and of course as you can see the video will be able mm, to even edit some options of it if you wanted to auto play if you wanted to be mute if you wanted to loop if you want uh, to have some player control or if you don't want people to have player control uh, the mode is branding privacy mode and of course there's even the style so here it's just gonna be uh, the size of the video as you can see so if you put it like this it depending just on the size of the video how it's gonna be so you'll have to go and put it the size that you want you can even go and add some css filters and of course on this advanced uh, button or option you'll find the same advanced uh, options as you can see here you'll be able to edit the margins the pattern with position and a lot of other stuff here other than that of course you'll be able to add some buttons so buttons will work as an example so as an example you'll be able to edit text so i'm just going to type here test again and of course you can paste here the link and if someone click on this test right here they will be taken to the link that you put here and of course you can even choose the alignment of it the type of it as an example and size the icon you can go and upload like some icon from yourself the icon spacing and of course you'll be able to edit the style and a lot of other stuff and then we have the divider spacer and those like kind of the same thing so you can go and try them out and of course we have even this google maps option this option will let you as an example let me just go and add it here you'll be able to add like the location that you want in google maps you can simply go and add the location here and that's gonna be it and of course the icon simply you can go and add whatever icon you want edit the style of it and edit any advanced option that you want also and you will normally be good to go so if you reached this point in the video, congratulations, you've successfully created the transparency header in Elementor in 2023. Of course, you can achieve a modern and visually striking design on your website with that. So remember to consider like the overall design and layout of your website when implementing a transparent header. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.